Hi, welcome back to Camp and Bark. My name is Margaret McEwen and I am the owner of Super Fine Canine Dog Training. Today's lesson is going to be teaching your dog to leave it. Now, leave it can be used um, to tell your dog not to pick something up and put it in their mouth, not to chase something when you get really good at it, to ignore whatever it is that he might otherwise be interacting with. The videos you're gonna to see today are examples of a dog leaving a piece of food, leaving an object on the ground, and leaving a person who has another dog with them. We're gonna keep it real simple for your dog. All your dog needs to do, once he learns the skill, is to look at you. So essentially, leave it's gonna mean, look at me instead, and you'll get a reward for that. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna set the dog up with something that we can control. In the first video, you're going to see the handlers using a piece of food and placing it underneath her foot so that she has control of that piece of food. You're also going to notice that the word leave it or the phrase leave it is not used yet. We wanna teach the dog the expectation before we add a word to it because your dog does not know what that word means until we show them what it means. So at first it's gonna be kind of a game, like figure out what I'm asking of you. One important thing with really anything you're teaching your dog is don't increase the difficulty level until your dog has it at the level you're currently working on. So we're not gonna go right from the floor to an object to passing a person in a matter of seconds, but the video is gonna be edited that way. Before you add the phrase, leave it, your best bet is to show your dog exactly what it is you want them to do. Now remember, dogs understand body language better than words when they're learning something. So in this demonstration, the handler is not going to use the word, leave it. Instead, she's going to wait for the dog to stop bothering the treat that she's placing under her foot. And when the dog backs off, she's going to give the dog a treat. Now, the hope is that the dog will look up and give eye contact, which is really what we want leave it to mean, look at me, instead of what you're staring at. So you'll notice when the dog looks up, the handler provides a treat each time. You're gonna start with placing a treat under your foot. You might need somebody to hold your dog for you if your dog doesn't have a reliable weight. Now the dog is going to try to get that treat for sure and he's going to quit and he's going to get a treat for that. And we're going to make it a little more difficult as time goes on. We might move the, the foot a little bit, but if the dog keeps staring at us, that's fine. Now he went in for to try and you just block it with your foot. That's why you want to keep your foot nearby so your dog can't fail. Once your dog has an understanding that leave it means look to you and you'll get a treat you can add the word. So in this case, the dog goes after the shoe and the owner's gonna say, leave it. And the dog's gonna look up and get a treat right away. So at this point, anytime the dog looks at the owner, they're going to get a treat. And if they go in, the word leave it's gonna be said like that. And the dog's gonna get a treat for leaving it and looking at the owner. We're gonna make it a little more difficult like we did Yo, that was a good one. And now we're gonna make it a little more difficult by putting a treat not so close to the foot and maybe a little motion. We say, leave it, the dog looks at us, we give it him a treat. We don't want leave it to mean, don't go after the treat, but you can continue to stare at it and obsess on it. You'll see in the next couple of videos why we want the word leave it to mean look at me and you'll get a treat. Once you have taught your dog the concept of leave it, it's time to take the show on the road. I would start by having some kind of a safe item that your dog can't get into, something not dangerous. This just happens to be a little white box. I'm not worried about my dog getting a hold of it if he does not listen to the leave it command. Try your best not to use the leash to control your dog. Try to rely on the command you've taught him. Once you notice that your dog sees the item, 
in a very friendly voice, say, leave it. And when your dog looks up at you, you want to reward that. Mark it with a yes and give him a treat. Once you've taught your dog to leave items that you may be walking past, you can start using it in real life situations, like when you want to pass a person or another dog that your dog might be distracted by. You can ask your dog to leave it when you notice the person and dog in this situation, or you can wait until the dog notices. But as you approach, you want to tell your dog, leave it, so he's paying attention to you instead of the distraction. So to summarize, leave it, be sure that you're not using the phrase leave it until your dog already understands the game. The second thing is try not to use your leash immediately to get your dog to leave something. When you're practicing, give enough of wide berth around an item or have it be an item that is not rewarding at all so that your dog doesn't win by going after it. And try to use the verbal because if you're using the leash, it's just gonna be one more cue that you're gonna to have to fade out. Next, make sure that you're saying the word or the phrase leave it as soon as your dog notices the distraction instead of waiting until they're right up on it. Now, sometimes you don't get that much notice because your dog sees something before you do, but when you're training it, watch your dog and as soon as your dog turns towards the item or the distraction, that's when you wanna get leave it out and then praise and reward them. Remember not to move to the next level of difficulty until your dog has mastered the current level of difficulty. You want this to be a strong behavior so it's useful. So happy training and I will see you at the next lesson. Again, my name is Margaret McEwen and I'm the owner of Superfine Canine Dog Training. I can be reached at superfinek9 at gmail.com or on my Facebook page, uh, Superfine K9 Dog Training.